Okay, I'll be making some fried rice today. We have leftover T-bone steak from off the grill. I have some onions, some bell peppers, and some scallion with my lovely knife. And right here, I put my butter in my hot skillet. Just waiting for it to melt. Look at that, nice and yellow. I added some garlic, mashed garlic. Adding my bell peppers right now to the nicely melted butter. I'm gonna let it cook for a little bit and the nice butter and garlic while I get more stuff to add in it, like my nice purple onions. That looks good right now. I wish I had some more. And then I'll be adding some more purple onions, just like that. Then I'll be adding some scallions. <coughs> And right here, that's my leftover T-bone steak that I had from off the grill. And once I add all my T-bone steak, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a nice little toss, just like that. I'm gonna let it simmer for about a, maybe five minutes or so. Yep, just like that. That looks so good. I had the entire house smelling so good that day. <laughs> oh, yes. And not short, well, shortly, we'll be adding some jasmine rice. I have some white jasmine rice that I added to the leftover T bone steak, butter, garlic, onion, peppers. <laughs> and I'm gonna go. <laughs> okay, we're gonna keep going. <laughs> My husband interrupted me while I was doing my voiceover. So I think I added too much rice, but whatever. So you're just gonna go ahead and mix it all in together. And right here, I wish I had some soy sauce, but unfortunately there was no soy sauce in my kitchen. So just gonna push um whatever lump of rice you have, just use the same fork or spoon. And just give it a nice little squish, just squish it out. And after that cook, then we're gonna add our red pepper to it to give it a little huh, just to boost the flavor, enhance it, enhance the taste. I didn't put a lot because my kids actually was gonna eat from this also. And then next I'll be adding some black pepper to it. I'm actually giving it more seasoning it don't need to because the T-bone steak had a lot of seasoning. But, you know, just to give it a little bit more. Just going to go ahead and stir it all up. Mix it up. Make sure you don't burn it. Just like that. Take a good look at it. All that flavor. The color. Going to cover the pot up and let it simmer for about... Mm, a minute or two. Take a look at that. This is a nice chunk of meat. <laughs> Ooh. I can smell it right now. And of course, I had to give it a taste. Yep. It's good. Because I made it. Cover it up. Turn off my stove. And there you go. Voila. It was good. I think I had I ate twice. And my husband, he ate three times. Yeah. That's it, y'all. Thanks for watching. Bye.